So guys, eyeballs over here, please. Three, two, one. Keisha. Okay, so we're gonna go over a quote from page five. The reason we're going over it is you guys have been really struggling with your text analysis charts. So I wanna make sure that you see what I'm asking of you so that we are fixing them properly. So when you fix them, you actually fix them and I'm not sending them back to you again. Does that make sense to everyone? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this thing. So the example I got, you can thank fourth period for this one, is we do not ride on railroads. It rides upon us. This is from page five. So when we do uh, citations, parenthesis, five, parenthesis, period. Okay. So how many people already have this highlighted? Yet, yet. So when we're looking at this, what do we think the strategy here is? What is our strategy? What strategy, rhetorical strategy is happening here? Yes, Victoria. All right, Sky. Um, so I see where you're going with that, but I don't know that that's necessarily, like, you can ride a horse, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know that it's necessarily personification. Anis? All right, those of you, yeah, go ahead, concept. Is it compared to Taurus? Um, not quite. I don't think that's our best one. I can see where you're going with that one, too, though. Yes? Uh, maybe you have barbecue? No. So, what do we usually do for railroads? Ride you ri usually ride trains. Is it telling you that you are riding the train here? No. No. What is happening? Iron. It's riding you. Iron. Thank you, Constance. So, this is ironic. I also would have taken syntax because what's funky going on here? <laughs> the semicolon. The semicolon is funky too. Oh. So I would have been cool if you guys said syntax because there is a semicolon there and it's going to highlight kind of the issues with the railroad that Thoreau is talking about. So, let's start with irony, okay? We just kind of explained it. Railroads are typically ridden by people, right? Not the other way around. Okay. Now, we have to do some work because what you guys see here is step one, step two is the explain. Now, you'll notice I wrote a four up here. Why do you guys think I wrote four up here? That's a four step. That's, that would be a four score, okay? That would be a score of four on our rubric. If you stop here, hi, Miss Lottie. Cheeky and Alexis are both not here. On that field trip? I don't know if they're on the field trip. They're okay. just both not here. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so this is going to get us a four. If you find the rhetorical strategy and you explain the rhetorical strategy, you get a four. But that is not passing on the AP language exam. You have to get a five to pass, okay? Which means we have to take this next step, which is your analysis, okay? In order to do that, though, we have to realize what the purpose is. So, who do we think Thoreau is talking to in Walden right now? Who do we think he is talking to? All right, Sky, who's he talking to? Um, um, oh my God. Uh, is he talking to like the president or whoever, like the society and all that? The society, what society is he in? He in nature right now. Well, right now, but where is his nature? Oh. <laughs> um. You don't know? Yes, you do. No, yeah. I don't know. Um, well, I thought he was talking to like the people that pay the taxes. What people who pay the taxes in what country, my friends? Oh, America. 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 And do women pay taxes at this no. time because are they no. considered citizens? No, it's men. Okay. So men. exactly, men. specifically white men. American white men is who he's talking to. This is your purpose right here. Okay. So okay. The last but in order to do the last no. column, we have to have the purpose, right? Because we have to connect the strategy that we found. We have to connect that strategy to our purpose. Okay. 
So we have to have the purpose to do that. So American white men must what? What do they have to do according to Thoreau? What's he doing that's working out so great for him? Go into nature because that will make you free. Free. It will make you free. It will make you feel. Huh? Happy. Yay. Peace, right? You have to go into nature to feel peace. So American white men must. Go into nature to be at peace. Outside of nature is chaos, he says. It is terrible. You will be sad. Okay, so you have to go into nature to find peace. Now, how is it that these railroads, right, are convincing, this strategy is convincing our audience to go complete the purpose? There you go. Okay, cool. Let's start at the beginning. Railroads, what is their purpose? What do railroads do? Why did they get transport. transport people and goods? Allowing what? If I'm in Ohio and I want to get something to Virginia, what do I use? Trains, and that'll make me more money. Okay, so railroads, and this wasn't a thing before. I know you guys don't you know, know a time without railroads, right? But this wasn't a thing before. Previously, if you wanted some avocado, you better have yourself in California, okay? Because that avocado was not making its way to Georgia. The train is what allowed something like that to happen. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, so railroads created for trade to make money okay now when you're creating a railroad what do you have to do if I want a railroad to get from one side of a mountain to the other side of a mountain how do I get that railroad through a tunnel, a tunnel. how is that tunnel made miners. miners is that good for nature oh, no. no all right so railroads created for trade to make money okay while, yes, destroying nature in its path. Why did I use the it without the apostrophe? Possessive. It's possessive. Good job. Okay. In its path. Now, here's the deal. Why do we all try and make money? So we can live better. Live better. Okay, so why would I need to go make more money? Say I already have money. Why do I need more money? You want more money, right? Money equals happiness. Does Thoreau believe that? No. No, Thoreau says that's not the case, okay? So Thoreau argues this money will not equal peace. All right. Is that enough? No. No, because I need to now show why all this good information, this good explanation, convinces this specific audience. Okay? So if I told you guys that all the money in the world would not make you happy, and that's all you've been trying to do your whole life, how would you feel? Upset. Upset? Give me a better word. Disappointed. Disappointed. Live it. Aggravate it. Okay? So when these American men are seeing that this railroad, this money making machine is not going to make them happy, they're going to be kind of upset, right? They're not going to be cool with that. So I like the words you guys used. This makes the American white man, I liked the word aggravated, that was good. Aggravated and thus want to change. So, what's he gonna wanna go do, guys? What's he gonna do? If he realized this railroad's taken over him, he's aggravated, what's that gonna make him wanna go do? Stop using the railroad and, and live in nature peacefully, okay? Thus, want change and leave railroads for nature's peace, 
Okay. Now here's the deal with your charts, guys. This is my expectation for your analysis section. Right here, all of this. What you guys are doing is you're giving me tiny baby portions of this. I need the whole thing, okay? Now, I am expecting you guys to only go all the way through with this, and I know this was confusion before, so I'm clarifying now because I, you know, I was kind of wobbly on it, and I don't want to do that to you guys. One strategy all the way through is what I want. However, you need to make sure you have at least two other strategies and examples. Now, if you are doing more analysis and more explanation with the other strategies, that's great, okay? That's gonna help you with your essays, it's gonna help you with your debate. But for right now, when you're redoing these, I'm just requiring you to take one strategy all the way through. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course. Constance. Okay, so you only want one strategy all the way through, so uh -huh. for the other two, do you just wanna say? Um, the strategy and the example. Okay, so we don't have to explain. Yep. You don't have to do the rest of it. Okay. Okay? Tobias. Obviously, we can't use that. You can use this one. So for this one, guys, I'm giving you your Walden all the way through. That's fine. But the reason I'm doing this, I want you to realize, is because my expectation is you're going back to the onion. You're going back to a manual. You're going back to car, and you're fixing it properly. A map. If we had some maybe the and you check it. Um, Amath, I know you already resubmitted yours. If you just realized parts of it is wrong, I would go and try and fix it, okay, over the weekend. Just write me another private comment, all right? Okay, so what you still need to do, guys, is you need to finish Walden, and you need to go and find two more strategies and put them here. Understood? There is a quiz on Monday, and believe me, there will be some items that you will have to have read the entire text to understand. You with me, y'all? Yes, All right, so right now, you can just cut it 